Hi, my name is Keith Scarra and I am the creator behind the documentary Tackling Britain's Plastic Beaches, which if you have watched, I really hope you enjoyed. And if you haven't watched, please do. I hope to educate you and inform you on a very important matter that is not only affecting the, the Alamam, but uh, the UK as well. So a little bit about me. I've just finished my third year of studying journalism at Leeds Beckett University, which has been the most amazing three years. Um, it's crazy going from a small island to a big city. Um, but yeah, it's been amazing. And um, for my final dissertation uh, equivalent, we had to create a project. So I wanted to do a documentary. I'm a very visual person. It is the um, avenue that I'd like to go down uh, for work. I'd love to work in broadcast. Um, so it was easy for me to choose that. Um, deciding what to do uh, my documentary on, again, was heavily influenced by the fact that I was on the Isle of Man. Um, I'm from the Isle of Man. I wanted to be able to use my resource as well um, and use what I know. And so thinking about the kind of things that I could cover on the Isle of Man, um, the ways that we tackle plastic pollution was the easiest thing for me. Um, heavily influenced by Bill Dale. Um, and I also followed um, Richard Mini through Piece of Plastic on Instagram. So I was already very aware on who the kind of people I could talk to. And um, so going down that avenue was 100% the best thing that I could have done. And I'm so glad that I did it. The reason that I chose specifically to follow the stories of these three organisations and initiatives was because um, when I, you have to do a lot of research because we have to create an essay as well. Um, through watching other documentaries, I saw there was a lot about what is plastic pollution, um, how is it being caused, and how it was being solved around the world. But I felt there was a lack of impact in the and not the Alaman, sorry, in the UK and Great Britain as a whole, so the Alaman and, and the UK. Um, so I wanted to show people how they could get involved and focus on people's efforts and what they're doing and show how easy it is for us to get involved, how important it is for people to get involved. Um, so that is the main reason for me doing it. I wanted to create something that's different from the other content that's already created out there, provide a new angle, but keep the discussion of plastic pollution in the news um, and keep the topic very alive because it's still as important as ever. It's not sorted yet. Um, it's only going to get worse. Uh, so I think keeping it going, keep the discussion happening is what was important to me. So I spoke to um, three pieces of plastic and I spoke to Beach Buddy, so Bill Dale and Rich McNee, who were incredible to speak to, so passionate about what they do. And um, they had so much knowledge and I was incredibly grateful that they took the time to speak to me. And it was amazing to see how important for them it was to do this and how much, even though people still litter and um, don't think about the impact of plastic waste. They were still so willing to keep doing what they do. They they want to make an impact. Um, on the Alaman, we're a very small island, and a little bit of plastic waste doesn't go miss. You can't miss it. Um, so seeing firsthand, hearing about how important it is for them and the changes that they've made over the years was just incredibly inspiring. And I think you can see through living on the Isle of Man, um, how clean our beaches are, we're incredibly lucky. And um, we've earned the status, obviously, of a UNESCO biosphere, um, which is an incredible honour. And I think it is heavily down to the hard work done by these two men and obviously all the volunteers that help them out um, and anyone that has been impacted by their message. So they were incredibly inspiring to speak to. I was incredibly grateful to go to Scarborough and attend one of the beach queens held by the Marine Conservation Society um, and they, I was able to see firsthand just how bad it can be and again appreciate how clean the Isle of Man is. Since I've been, since I've spoken to all these people since I've created this documentary, I am extremely conscious and I'm extremely aware of the fact that I need to reduce down my amount of plastic waste. I need to um, educate as many people as possible. I've created discussions with people in my class, at, uh, with my lectures at uni. I'm very proud to be from the Isle of Man. Um, I'm very proud to discuss the fact, you know, have a bit of a gloat that we have the cleanest beaches in the world. Uh, everyone kind of just rolls their eyes now. Um, but it's important for everybody to know what the issue is and how they can help.
I wanted to include both the Alamann and the UK because mainly for audience purposes, to be honest. Um, I think if I did it just on the Isle of Man, um, it could have just focused it too much on just one place. Um, and obviously I've been in meetings with my lecturers and they again said to broaden my horizons. Uh, I was incredibly grateful that I can obviously just go home and be able to hope and pray that I can speak to people um, because of the fact that I'm from the Isle of Man. Um, but speaking to someone from the UK provided a different angle introduced a new audience and I wanted to create something that would have as wide an impact as possible. I didn't want to limit it to an age, a gender, a race, uh, an ethnicity, like I wanted everybody to be able to watch this and understand that this is not just one type of person creating this issue, this is not just one type of person that can solve this issue, this is everyone's issue, everybody can make change um, just in the simplest way. Think about how you dispose of things, going down to your beach for the weekend, having a walk and picking up plastic, it's the little things. If you if you don't live near a beach, think about how you um, dispose of your plastic waste. It was quite simple and showing how all of these people were so willing to do it, influence others to hopefully do the same. Producing my documentary during COVID-19 did have its um, slight hurdles. Um, I hope to come back to the Isle of Man to finish my documentary and interview Bill Dale and Rich McNee in person. Um, which I wasn't able to do as I couldn't get back to the island as I had other university work to do over here. So um, I was heavily impacted that way but I think through just perseverance and understanding that thanks to modern technology through Zoom call I was able to interview them and the generosity of all the videographers that so kindly gave me um, some of their footage. So Eric Lace, Errol Man video, um, Water Bear which was given to me by um, Bill Dale kindly and Rich McNee went out of his way as well to um, give me some of his footage um, and they massively helped me with being able to produce this documentary so a big big thank you to them um, it wasn't my final project didn't come out the exact way I wanted it to I'd have loved to have been able to be fully into the in the documentary myself walking around with them and um, much like I was when I was in Scarborough but I still think I managed to create the same impact that I wanted to throughout the whole time. Um, for me, it was so important to be able to create something that was a professional standard as broadcast is something that I want to go into, I hope and pray. Um, creating documentaries is my dream and focusing on social issues um, most importantly. So um, covering the environmental crisis will always be something that I'm gonna um, keep in mind when creating stuff, but also um, just covering stories that people are going to look at and want to make a change and I think I will always keep the Isle of Man in the back of my mind as a source and making sure everybody knows um, the amazing work that the Isle of Man puts in and the amazing community of the Isle of Man. The Isle of Man has worked so hard for the UNESCO biosphere status and um, not only um, through the government. Speaking to both Bill Dale and Richard McNee um, it is everybody's efforts that has that have been put in has made this possible and I hope in my documentary I was able to cover all that.